Close your eyes. Watch your breath. And watch your mind as well. Make sure the mind stays with the breath. It doesn't go wandering off after the sound of the birds, the sound of the construction. It stays right here. This is an important skill that if you're going to survive the world, you have to be able to keep your mind in shape and not let it just be prey to whatever comes in. Because the diseases of the mind are like diseases of the body. There are germs that come in from outside, but the question of whether we get sick from them or not depends on our own internal resistance. And so with meditating, you're beginning to build up your resistance. But for it to work, you have to carry it through as you go through the day. Otherwise you build up your resistance right now, but then you throw it away. And then the least little thing comes in and sets you on fire with greed, sets you on fire with anger, fear, whatever. So make sure you have this still spot inside from which you watch everything else. The still spot is not easily infected by other people's greed, other people's aversion, other people's delusion. You keep yourself a little bit separate. This way you can go through the world and not pick up the germs of the world. Because they're all around, especially now with the, the internet. They're coming right into your home. All the greed you can imagine, all the lust, all the anger, all the fear. You've got to keep, build your resistance and keep it up if you don't want to get, be infected by these things. So meditation is how you do this. It gives you, gives you a good, solid place where you can sit and watch what's going on and not have to get involved. The reason we get involved is because we're hungry for things. Of course, if the food is tainted, then we're going to get sick. But we stay right here. Keep our minds from getting involved. And that way the germs of the world won't have any effect.